Hello everyone, welcome back to the X Machines channel. Control valves, familiar device which are used to regulate the flow of fluid, have become part of our daily life. Due to their usefulness, they have been put to use in a wide variety of fields, ranging from simple structured water valves, gas valves, to reservoir valves, or even fire hydrant valves, requiring higher complexity in design characteristics. Have you ever wondered how a control valve is produced? To look for the answer in this video, the X Machines channel is going to show you round one of the factories that provide the best quality valves in the world. Camtech Manufacturing is recognized as the third and one of the very few companies manufacturing API accredited valves in the UAE, Africa, and Middle East regions. Engineering and design division is always the starting point of every valve manufacturing process where skilled and experienced engineers sketch out ideas and design valves according to client specifications. Subsequently, the designs are directly transferred to the indoor workshop where patterns needed for the valve casting procedure are produced with the aid of advanced CNC machines. All materials before being admitted to the factory must be marked for identification and traceability. Quality controls is always the obligatory at the very beginning of the process. Once the receiving inspection is finished, the pieces meeting the demanded standards are moved to the storage department. These heavy-duty vertical turret lays are all CNC machines which have undergone proper modifications to provide better control over dimensional accuracy and surface finish. On the other hand, CNC horizontal turret lays consist of the same components and share the function but work the metal in a side-to-side -side fashion instead of an up-and-down motion like the vertical one. Before being loaded onto CNC turret lathes for higher level of dimensional accuracy and surface finish, the cast components from the earlier stage have to undergo a procedure called pre-machining, in which conventional machines are applied. There are four major types of welding preferred in the valve manufacturing industry, including submerged arc weighting, shield metal arc weighting, gas tungsten arc weighting, and gas metal arc weighting. Pieces of metal are joined together, and the weld area as well as electrode is protected from oxidation and other atmospheric contamination thanks to a protective cover whose components depend on the kind of welding chosen. Assembly, the last stage of the manufacturing process, will take place after all stages of the quality control inspection and machining procedure are completed. The various components and parts that eventually form the valves will be gathered at the assembly center for this final stage. A typical valve assembly includes the entire fluid control, mechanisms, and its casings as the main components, electrical or mechanical actuations mechanisms, and any relevant connectors, external sensors, and fasteners. In some cases, valve assemblies are supplied with ancillary devices such as mounting adapter sets, shim selections, and spare seals. During the manufacturing process, stringent quality control systems are always available to ensure the specifications are still maintained to the required standards. Microstructure analysis and spectral analysis for detailed examinations are performed to make sure that every valve produced meets with applicable industry standards before being officially released to the market. Every valve has to undergo destructive testing, non-destructive testing, and operational testing. However, not all of the tests will be performed, but it depends on the infrastructure and facilities of the manufacturers. Cryogenic test is a type of operational testing where valves can be tested to low temperatures up to minus 196 degrees centigrade. The results will be recorded via computers and printed for further evaluations.
On the other hand, fire safe tests, also a kind of operational testing, are performed to ensure the valve integrity at the temperature up to 750 degrees centigrade. The valves are then grid plastered as per technical requirements and moved to on to the next stage, painting. The quality control inspectors are responsible for checking the dry film thickness of the painted products, making sure that they all dry before being packed. Paint adhesion tests are also done in order to verify the paint quality and applications. Now let's break into another valve manufacturing factory and take a brief look at this assembly procedure. With 20 years of experience and a qualified labor force comprising more than 1,000 skilled engineers, the factory has managed to put itself on the map in the valve manufacturing industry for unparalleled excellence and constant modification to deliver zero leaks and best quality valves with proper technological know-how. What's on your screen now is Black Hole's yellow leakage metal assisted parallel phased gate valve installed in, in Torrance Regional Water District, Texas, also known as the World Logic Valve. The 108 inch board gate valve DN2H00 has been manufactured and tested for America's first platinum rated water pipeline project IP11, weighing at 117 tons and standing majestically at a 14 feet height. This gate valve has been designed to last for 100 years. In addition to Rick's experience, heritage, and technical knowledge, it was Black Hole's proven check of manufacturing 100 years accept life valves that match perfectly with Terran's regional water district's 100 years sustainability promise on the IPL project. The gas valve successfully passed all hydraulic tests and has recently been under installations into the mega pipeline. <laughs> 